Now it's season five in the books and us waiting on season six, thus waiting for the new DLCs that will come to Shinobi Striker and what they will be. Well, we have some speculation from the trailer right before when Ishiki was about to come out that there was the war arc with the tree. So, you know, people have speculations that Kagi is coming out, but I don't believe that Kaguya might be coming out. Now, I want Kaguya to come out. Don't say I don't want him, but there's just, you know, a couple of reasons why she wouldn't be in there. But the main reason would be is that how big she is. Now, I know her clothes are in the shop right now. So, you know, that could mean something that she is coming. But, you know, I don't know if the service can handle it. Now, this is what my boy Ernie Burns said. If you don't know who he is, you probably do. But go watch him anyway. His link will be down in the description. Go check him out. But my boy said that she's too big and that she won't fit for their servers. The servers are garbage. I'm not going to lie. I'd be lagging out of games so many times when I shouldn't. Just trying to get content. And yeah, I see it wouldn't work out. Now imagine having eight of those big ass Kagias in your server. Yeah. Now that would be a big problem for the servers. I don't know if they can handle it. But let's see if we're proved wrong i'm standing behind ernie burns on this one so now let's get into what i wanted to talk about and what dlcs we will probably be seeing or what i want to see hopefully so to get into this i want to see 10 tails obito my favorite character in the 10 tails version we have 10 tails modder so why not make it 10 tails obito you know he's got abilities where we can make them he probably won't be that hard he's not that big so yeah he'll be great for that and i feel like it'll be a fun dlc next up we have ito minato now this one will be fire bro another nine tails in cherokee in the game some different abilities and my favorite hokage i mean that's really why i want to see him in there and yeah that'd be sweet now this next one that i'm about to say doesn't really follow the war arc type that it was you know teased in the trailer maybe if we're going with all war type art characters but i would want to see momoshiki we need more osutsuki in the game like i don't know what we're doing we have all these osutsuki and we don't even have we only have one ishiki and he's like the newest one to be introduced well probably not but he's one of the newer ones so yeah what are we doing bandai let's get up to date with it right add momoshiki in add toner in Kaguya, and Yosuzuki, you name it. We need them in the game. Some other ones I would like to throw out there that I think that would be fun. We get the introducing of the Tamari Kid um, DLC. I believe that you could add probably Kid Naruto, all those kids from, you know, the Konoha 12 in, you know, Naruto. That, that would be sweet. I'm not going to lie. Kid versions of them all. But especially Kid Naruto and a Kid Sasuke. Sasuke with the curse mark. Naruto with the one tails chakra mode. I, I tend to think that'd be very intriguing to play and get people to play that for sure. Especially if you have the main characters as their young version. That would be sweet. I would want to play it at least. I don't know about y'all. Finally, a couple more DLCs I'd like to see is Boro Shiki. I've always liked when I first seen Boro Shiki. Now, I do not really like boruto like that but when boroshiki comes out boruto gets a little bit better for me then we have code so code stuff is in the shop right now but that doesn't mean that he'll come out you know how we're speculating with kaguya but we'll see if bandai proves me wrong and yeah that's basically who i would like to see in the next coming season with a couple dlcs now, who would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thank Ernie Burns. Go check him out if you want a in-depth, more, you know, details about why Kaguya couldn't come out. And, man, what else can Bandai do to make this game as lively as it once was? Now, I know I did not play when it was lively as it was. Um, yeah, I got into it late. So... Let me guys know what you guys think they could do to make it better. I do know that I suck at these type of videos. I'm not the one for talking. Man, I'm not really used to it yet. So I thank you guys for staying and listening to my annoying voice. But hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And without further ado, I'm out. Peace.